Hi, everybody. My name is Mrs. Swarzynski, and I'm joined here today by Mr. Wishney. We are two of your math teachers, and today we're going to share with you some upcoming exciting information about the total eclipse that's happening on April 8th. Keystone is really excited um, because we have a bunch of teachers who live in the path of totality. Um, so we're excited to share this event with you. So what is a total solar eclipse? A total solar eclipse occurs when the moon passes between the sun and the earth, and it completely blocks out the sun. So during a total eclipse, you can see the sun's cornea, which is the out, outer atmosphere. And this solar eclipse is really special because those in the path of totality will also be able to see a comet and some planets. So this is an example of some of the cities that you can see in the path of the uh, total solar eclipse. So it uh, will typically start, so it starts around down here about uh, 1.30 or so, and it uh, goes through. So the, the, the darker circles are the, uh, right, right in the middle is where the totality of the eclipse will be. So a city like Waco is going to get a pretty good view, whereas Fort Worth and Dallas might be a little bit more on the outskirts there. We can see that. And so, for example, I live in Buffalo, and we can see that that's pretty much right in the middle of the, of the totality there. So, uh, so I'm pretty lucky that I'll be able to uh, experience that myself. So that this is the general path of the total solar eclipse. So it'll be passing through the state of Texas, um, Louisiana, I believe Illinois, um, let's see here, Ohio, Indiana. New York, Indiana, um, a little bit of Vermont and Maine is where it will end. It will also pass through Mexico. Um, it actually does start in the Pacific Ocean um, and then passes through Mexico and then the majority of the um, cities on the eastern coast. Well, not the coast, but kind of through the center there. So here is a full size, uh, full size map of the world. And we can see that this is the path that we just saw on the previous slide, but more zoomed out. And what might not be uh, super, super clear is that the path actually follows more of a curve. It starts around here, and then it kind of curves up this way before curving over the United States and then curving back down a little bit. It's not going to cover the entirety of the Earth. It starts down here uh, around Australia and New Zealand. And then because of the way that the Earth rotates and the moon rotates, uh, we actually get this. It's not going to be a straight or a single curve. It's more of this kind of two-part curve going across the Earth here. And for those of you who have taken, you know, algebra two or trigonometry, it does look like a sine or a cosine curve. So let's do some math. On April 8th, the path of totality will stretch over 9,000 miles across the planet, but on average, it will only be about 120 miles wide. So if we calculate the total area, treating it like a rectangle, Okay, because that's the closest shape that we have the area formula for. We know that the area of a rectangle is base times height. And if we use our um, base, we'll use 9,000, and our height can be 120. Okay, so 9,000 times 120, what would be your total area? You can pause the video, try the calculations on your own, and check back for the correct answer. When we do the multiplication, okay, you'll end up with one, zero, eight, zero, 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 zero. <laughs> and if we count with our decimals, that is 1,080,000 square miles for the total area of the solar eclipse. A little bit of geometry finding the area of the shape. Let's do some more math. So the start time for the path of totality in the United States is around 1.27 p.m. Eastern. In Texas, 
and ends at 3.33 p.m. Eastern in Maine. So given that information, how long will the path of totality last for the United States? Pause the video, and then we'll come back with our answer in just a second. So what we can do here is we can think, well, we start at 127, two hours from 127 gets us to 327, and then we can add another six minutes to that, giving us a total of two hours and six minutes of totality in the United States. In general, when the, the, the actual totality for any given point is between two to four minutes. So in Buffalo, there will be a specific time period that is the full two to four minutes of totality when the sun will be completely blocked out. And every, at every other point, it'll be partially blocked out. So there will still be an interesting experience, but the full total totality is approximately two to four minutes, depending on where you are. And this path is when it starts in the Texas and ends in Maine. So for two hours and six minutes, um, the moon will be, or the moon and the earth and the sun will all be rotating. Um, and that's when the path will be in existence. So for those of you who are not in the path of totality, you can still experience a partial eclipse. Almost all of the United States will experience a partial eclipse. Um, it just depends on how far you are from the path of totality, what percentage of an eclipse you will experience. For those who do not live in the United States, you could also visit your local science museum or a planetarium to learn more about upcoming um, solar eclipses in your area. Now watching the total solar eclipse is while it is well it can be a very interesting experience you need to make sure that you're very careful so the sun is beautiful but it's very dangerous to observe uh, very bright sunlight may damage your eyes so it's best to follow some basic safety rules now of course this is in general when we talk about don't stare directly into the sun of course uh, but with a uh, solar eclipse there's actually uh, more cause for concern so you need to be a lot more safe with it get proper eclipse glasses. So regular sunglasses or custom made solar filters won't be able to protect your eyes very well. So you'll need to make sure that you get those eclipse glasses if you want to get the full experience. Do not look at the total eclipse uh, directly uh, without any kind of eyewear, uh, without any protection that is that, that will help you here. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Wishney. All right, check back with Keystone on April 8th for a live event. One of our teachers will be recording and live, I'm sorry, will be live streaming the solar eclipse to share with all of you who are not able to experience the total eclipse. We hope to see you there. Bye. So long.